Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today. Here's your weather video for this Friday, February the 7th. I'm meteorologist Bill Murray sitting in for Scott Martin, who's sitting in for James, who is sick this morning. And so, um, sorry for the delayed video, but we had to do a couple of handoffs there. Snow 2019, that's the story. And that's about the extent of it. This picture from Somerville, Alabama, uh, this morning. A few snow flurries moving across uh, central and north Alabama. Nothing uh, of any consequence, no problems uh, occurring, but uh, interesting going from uh, tornadoes and flooding and uh, temperatures well above normal to um, back to the reality of winter this morning as foreseen behind the old groundhog. Here's the upper adder, or upper air pattern across uh, the United States this morning showing a deep trough uh, centered uh, around the Great Lakes region there reaching deep into the southern United States and bringing us lots of chilly, cold air. Satellite pictures this morning depict uh, the low cloudiness across the northern half of Alabama very well. It won't take much for that to burn off, though. We'll see clearing skies during the day today. Temperatures will be chilly, though, holding in the 40s across the entire area with a biting northwest wind. Some of the colder valleys of northeast Alabama won't get out of the 30s today. A little disturbance passing through early tomorrow. Uh, a few light showers. I um, don't think we'll see anything in the way of wintry precipitation here in Alabama, but um, you know that's something that we'll be uh, kind of a, keeping an eye on out of the corner of our eye. Temperatures tonight in the middle and uh, upper 30s across Alabama. Sunday, we're back in the 60s. High pressure to the east, uh, back to a return southerly flow. Uh, giving us uh, a nice day on Sunday, but look what comes back on Monday. Uh, another system moving in, and this one is going to set up for a protracted siege. Uh, we have um, about as much rain as we could use right now, and a little bit more, and um, this is going to bring a lot more. Tuesday, more waves of rain moving across. Tuesday looks wet. Uh, as we move into Wednesday, uh, the system starts to get... Uh, ready for its final push, but more rain across much of Alabama coming in waves during the day uh, in a scenario that we're all too familiar with. Backside, a few snow flurries may be moving through on Thursday as it turns colder. Uh, Friday, high pressure is in control. We have finally a chance to dry out. That high pressure uh, hangs on through the weekend there on Saturday and Sunday, and our next uh, weather maker comes in on Monday the 17th. That one uh, wet with a little wintry look just to the west, that'll bear watching. That wintry precipitation, um, kind of a spoiler alert, doesn't really get into Alabama on that system. So all the snow fans, um, nothing much bigger to um, be excited about, but something that will watch because uh, there is uh, some uh, wintry precipitation lurking in the neighborhood. Uh, the nice uh, warm temperatures the next few days will be a tease. We'll go to an extended colder period uh, starting at the end of next week. Temperatures generally... Uh, lower middle 50s, a few days in there as you see Tuesday and Wednesday, the 18th, 19th might be uh, highs only in the 30s. And uh, we come back out of that, we're still just below seasonal norms, highs in the 50s, lows uh, in the 30s. Now, the concerning thing, though, and I'll end with this, uh, is that this is the precipitation total chart off of the GFS showing uh, general two to four inch rains across, you know, all of central and north Alabama. But predicting that some area might see a stripe of six to nine inches of additional rain, and we just cannot use that. Uh, if that happens uh, in that three, three-and-a-half-day protracted siege of uh, rainfall, it could lead to some flooding problems. Uh, it's feast or famine as it comes to uh, weather in Alabama. Well, that's your weather video for this uh, Friday the 7th. Hope you have a great weekend. I'll be back on Sunday. Scott will be here tomorrow. And uh, until we uh, get together again, as I always tell you, I'll remind you to keep a, an eye to the sky because you'll always have something fun to look at.